chat with uh, John Henry. Yes, sir. Depends on what hat he's wearing today. Today yeah. it's County Commission hat. It is, but as I say, I can wear either one. So whatever questions <laughs> you got, I hope I can answer. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, how you been? Been great. How about you? You know, um, the days are starting to run into each other. The fair was was right. last week, and uh, from all I've seen, it was a very, very successful. Very success. Seems very successful. Yeah, they did a great job this year. They always do a great job, but but they brought in some. My daughter, I keep telling people that the act they brought in, it's one of her favorite, and I mean, she's into that. I can never get it right, though. Is it Red Dirt Country? I, I listen That's to what the I'm same told. stuff. I think it's called Red Man, her, her little group in college, they go to every one of those concerts, so she was pretty pretty impressed we had that. So yeah. that's, that, that means that's a pretty good deal. So. Well, and I saw John, uh, the, the sound guy, mm -hmm. uh, Saturday and I said how'd it go and he said it was packed yeah it was, it was packed yeah. a little busy the only I think the only one they were kind of disappointed in was uh, the Thursday night they did the faith yeah. and family and yeah. the opening act flight got canceled oh, okay coming out of Dallas yeah and uh, that's happening a lot lately to a lot of people it really is that's what we were on vacation last weekend and when we were trying to plan our vacation uh, we had a really cool, we were going to go to the East Coast. We've never really done that. I said, man, it'd be kind of fun. Let's either go uh, to the Carolinas or, you know, I know Boston's still kind of East Boston. Let's go do something historic and cool. And then we started watching flights. I said, no, let's drive. So we, <laughs> we ended up driving somewhere. But Where'd you wind up? At Breckenridge, Colorado, which I highly recommend if That's no one's not been east. there. No, no. <laughs> so we decided after those hundreds, 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 we're like, yeah, let's just go. We've never been to Breckenridge, mm -hmm. um, really. It's uh, big we've kind of been through isn't it. it. Big ski area. Yeah. But man, if y'all need to get out of the heat and you don't go to Cloudcroft or Ridosa, Breckenridge is uh, that was pretty nice. It was I was talking out there. I mean, it was nice and cool, and uh, it was a good place to be. Sorry, while y'all were dealing with a hundred, I was. <laughs> We did take the family on vacation, so but well, no, but that, it that. did change. I I wonder how many other people are changing their plans and deciding. I don't want to. A the plane tickets are crazy, and it took almost. I don't know what it normally takes to get to the East Coast, but some of our flights they were looking at were like nine hours, and I'm like, okay, no, it doesn't. I could get to England in nine hours. I've done it before, so yeah. I don't. I don't, I don't no, know it, it's do crazy. That. And when we had uh, Clyde Lewis scheduled to come out from Portland for right. the UFO festival. Um, we were worried about flights and cancellations and stuff like that because yeah. uh, he had his national radio shows to do. He had appearances at the UFO Museum. I mean, he wasn't the only one, but right. we sure. were more involved in that <laughs> right. than, than the others. And uh, Don Schmidt, who uh, one of the founders of the museum, he told us, he says, now, is Clyde coming through Phoenix or Dallas? And I said, well, he's coming through Phoenix. He says, you're probably okay. So apparently the stuff coming from west to east that comes through Phoenix to okay. Roswell is less likely to get canceled or affected than the stuff coming from east to west through the Dallas hub. And really? I wonder why. That's interesting. Yeah. So. But, and so we were fortunate. His flight coming in was only delayed an hour and a half. So he was only an hour and a half late. Right. But he, he arrived on the night he was supposed to arrive. <laughs> well, that's good. And, yeah. Uh, and yeah. that was a good thing. But yeah, the, the flight thing is just, it's crazy. It's, and uh, It is. We're, we're trying to put together a promotion to send people to winners to go to see a Cowboys game. Oh, okay. And yeah. we're working with American Airlines. And <laughs> because of security issues, mm -hmm. if if we have the contest, we can't just have the tickets in our name and then transfer those tickets to the winner of the contest. Okay, yeah. That's interesting. They won't let us do that. Right. They, they'll give us a voucher. Okay. Well, that, but there's no guarantee. It's, no, it's a constant change. You so. win the contest. You call up and say, "All right, I'm ready to go see the Cowboys. I want to buy yeah. my ticket." And they're going to go, "Well, that flight's booked." Yeah. Yeah. Or your yeah. vouchers for this much, and the ticket's going to cost this much. Yeah. Because that's the other thing. As we were watching, she finally found one that kind of might have worked for Boston, and she said, "Well, what about this?" And I said, oh, "Whatever. Let's think about it. Let's watch it for a second. Now, honest to goodness, an hour later, it had jumped a couple hundred bucks, and I thought, "This is." Yeah. And I know they move a lot, and I, but we're booking pretty far out. And I thought this is this is getting crazy, and yeah. I thought I want to come home when vacation's over. I want to come home. I don't want to be stranded or stuck or get halfway and be stuck and or your luggage so stuck let's just or something get in like our that. Get our car and drive somewhere. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's great, and there's a lot of great places in the West. You Absolutely. know, Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado. Yeah. 
West Texas. Absolutely. To, to go and see, and uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully, there's there's been a little bit of tourist activity, even in Artesia, people coming through town and looking at things. So. You know, it really is. It's interesting. You know, a couple of times I've been standing at restaurants waiting on food or whatever I'm doing, and uh, it's been cool. I've talked to folks from Kansas, all over the place, coming through town, and. Uh, you know, I encourage everyone while you're standing there, uh, anywhere in Eddie County, you, you know, there's folks coming through and highlight. I love to highlight. Hey, did y'all go see the library? Did y'all go see our, they, they, you know, the bronze and try to explain the bronze? Go to the chamber. They got, um, you know, so hopefully, it, because as we travel, that happens in some towns, and those are the towns you remember. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully, hopefully in Eddie County and in Artesia, we have that same excitement we should be excited about our our city and our our town and our, yeah. our uh, county and yeah highlight so, it so does that freak people out when you when they find out that the mayor is telling them about the town you know i've never <laughs> said i was the mayor i just <laughs> highlight everything that i can and, and try to keep them around right. here to to do what to, to spend some money and have some fun you need to take a page from bill richardson and 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 our current governor yeah and you need to have like a wad of cards county yeah. commission cards and mayor cards yeah and they say, hi i'm the mayor yeah. <laughs> oh, right I, like all the billboards that say sponsored by them i just need a billboard on my shirt <laughs> <laughs> you know. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Well, good. Well, let's uh, let's talk county commission news. Commissioners okay. met yesterday. We did. And yeah. What were some of the <laughs> very productive meeting? We we did have a meeting last Friday as well to kind of wrap up the end of the year. So, end of the year numbers, as as we've seen across, we've talked about it all the time, came in really really strong. Um, the the budget, the finances, Eddie County's in amazing shape, uh, thanks to the oil and gas industry, uh, and, and all the GRT that's happening. So, you, you know, you and I talk about it. There's the oil and gas GRT and then GRT. Even our regular GRT is really strong in the county. So really glad to see that. That means hopefully mom and pops are, are hopefully receiving that benefit. That means both cities are receiving that benefit. So we want to keep our cities and our county strong. And, and it does look like that's happening. Um, I know I can speak on the Artesia side. It, it, we're strong. So I uh, feel really good about where, where we all are financially. Um, so that was a great little, great production, quick meeting. No big deal. Um, in this meeting, uh, a lot of good stuff happening. Our fire services, um, they did report out that, you know, we've been talking about we're going to have full-time fire firefighters come on. Uh, we were able to get one of the stations up and running. Uh, so so that's these, these are county employees full-time that are going to man the volunteer fire stations? They'll man fire stations so they won't be the one they won't necessarily be volunteer fire stations okay. anymore they're going to be uh fire stations okay um, so we do have our first one up and and sort of running we're obviously needing more i think we're trying to hire 21 and i think we're at seven or eight at this point so not quite there but we're getting there so that's that's really good positive news for the county you're gonna we're gonna help boost each town with with extra firefighters from the county so uh good stuff um what interesting thing i guess they were on a fire with then the reason it came up we approved three new tankers for them uh they're getting rid of some older tankers and tankers are what's going to bring your water to your fire uh really important we've got a lot of different apparatuses and i'm not going to act like i understand them all mm -hmm. but i do know that that obviously we're we're pretty unique down here because they've got the foam they've got the water they they need a lot of different things, whereas a lot of the other counties might not need that. They're not dealing with oil and gas. They're not dealing with the same type of fires. Whereas Cloudcroft, you know, obviously you're going to have more brush trucks because it, it, so it depends on your location. But we have a little bit of everything. Well, the tankers are what's going to bring your water to your fire as well. And um, I think be between them all, we added, uh, gosh, I'm going to be wrong, but 1,200 to 2,000 gallons of water going to fires with these tankers. So that's really good news reason that's interesting they said they were on a fire last week or something took a hundred thousand gallons of water on that fire wow and that is an incredible amount of water because most of the time when in the county when you're fighting you're not necessarily right next to a hydrant or anything else your way out so these tankers are really important to them they're doing a good job of uh rotating their equipment getting their equipment um unified unified is the wrong word i'm looking for uh 
to where everything's kind of the same. Mm -hmm. So when you go jump in it, it, it's all sort of the same. Bell was unified. That's not the right word, but what consistent, maybe consistent. <laughs> yeah, I used to have a great word for it, and it's completely gone. But, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it, it, they don't have to relearn. The, the the firefighter doesn't have to yeah. relearn how to drive this truck or how to operate this. Uh, and everything's anchor. kind of the same. So your fittings are the same. So if, if this truck needs this, you can grab it off that. So mm -hmm. so really glad to see that they're doing a good job of that. Um, I think Eddie County needs to be. We've said it a million times really uh, proud and comfortable with with what kind of equipment we have here we're very lucky I get calls in fact I've got uh, just just this week an, an email from another mayor really trying to uh, get our equipment because as we're getting new equipment you know we can either auction it or donate okay. it and, and Eddie County does a great job of donating equipment because it's still usable it's just you know either older or we want to stop maintaining it and get did some newer stuff and uh, but it, some of these other towns that that are that aren't as fortunate as eddie county and, and our cities uh desperately need this stuff so it's good to see that we can move some of this equipment um to other areas in the state that it might benefit them might help them um and, and get some other other cities in, yeah. in better shape well the firefighter thing is really important i know this is not a huge issue right now but has there been talk or discussion about because you mentioned that the foam and the water and all yeah. the different things that the f fire crews here have to be prepared for right. especially with oil and gas but uh, are we having that conversation about the electric cars that might catch fire <laughs> <laughs> i haven't but i, I know bet there's it. a lot on the road you know <laughs> right but, yeah uh, I guess at some point in time, that's going to be, maybe the foam works on the cars. I don't know. I would assume that would, seems like that would be what I would <laughs> But I don't want to say that, because that, yeah. I don't know. I'm not an expert yeah. in that. But. I'm not an expert, but electricity and water never mix. So I would think spraying on battery. <laughs> If I'm a guessing person, I would put foam. I would probably be wrong and end up shocking myself. But no, that's a very good point. And, and that's an interesting point across the board. I wonder how many others are having to kind of adjust what they're doing. Because there's this huge push, as you know, from, from the federal and from the state, you know, electrify, electrify, electrify. I mean, yeah. I, it's not going to be too long before the state's going to come to the county. Right. And say, okay, you're getting ready to buy some new fire trucks or tankers or yeah. squad cars or, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, a certain percentage are going to have to be electric i would hope that we never get to that point because if there is a fire or if there is an emergency or if there is something going on me as a citizen not as an elected official but me as just a citizen i want that truck to start be able to get all the way there mm -hmm. without charging go ahead and take care of the emergency and get all the way home and uh, I, I don't know that i would trust anything to run a fire truck or a police car the police cars they're out all day long they would have to continuously you'd have to triple your fleet almost because you'd have to constantly be switching and charging and what a train wreck and i bet they'll try to push it because to them it doesn't matter they right. just want to make it look neat and oh we're saving the world and you're not sorry guys but uh, you know that's <laughs> no i agree with a different you, story uh but you're gonna you're gonna have to really uh, which they don't care they they give us unfunded mandates all the time all the time but, i mean whether uh, it's the the cameras or yeah uh you know you're going to allow pot sales or whatever it is exactly. whatever it is they're yep. going to come down to the counties and we know that if this governor gets reelected for another term right we've already seen from their environmental policies that they push so far that that's they're going to put pedal to the metal on that and really yeah. and really push that so and i'm really worried i'm worried for eddie county and i'm worried for for artesian carlsbad because if if oh my goodness if she gets reelected the problems that are going to come are going to be ter are going to be a, a problem because if she does go ahead and shut down that coal plant we've talked about it which which is on schedule they they let it stay open this year i don't know if it's because an election year or not but that's kind of interesting that one more year and then if it shuts down next year you know you're already seeing rolling block at blackouts across the board on this side of the country especially but mm -hmm. california's dealing with them and they're trying to go all elect we don't have the grid set up and i'm not an expert in electrical I, I, you could probably ask we do have some really good experts like cve and those kind of folks that could answer these questions but our grid's not ready for it and and if you're going to push electric down here on this side of the state is there a place in town to charge mcdonald's oh mcdonald's has it so that's other it. than that i'm not i, I don't know no. that we have very many places i know cloudcroft has one spot in front of their co-op there and 
where do you charge these things? And so yeah. if, you, if you're really wanting us to all have it, there's nowhere to charge it. The grid's not really ready for it. Yeah. The grid is already going to be strained when it gets really hot next summer or cold this winter. And uh, mm -hmm. I would much rather have people have heat and electricity in their homes to make sure they're safe yeah. than a car that's electric. Yeah, I don't know that people have problems with suggestions. In other words, if yeah. the state said to the counties, mm -hmm. here, you know, we because I know a lot of the counties go through a, 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 a bidding mm -hmm. pool or whatever. Uh, here are your options, and by the way, here are some electric options, and we sure. encourage if it makes sense for you to, to, to consider these, yeah. as opposed to thou shalt and, yeah, <laughs> have exactly. a certain percentage of by such and such date, and uh, yeah. they're pushing an agenda that doesn't, uh, that doesn't make sense for folks. But yeah. I, I just kind of got off on it because I know that they're, just like there's challenges in putting out a, a, a car or a truck that's on fire. Right. Yeah. It's it's a different set of challenges faced by firefighters when they come upon an electrified car. Right. And so I guess those are going to have to start as, as they become more and more. Because there's going to be more and more of them on the road. Absolutely. Uh, that's going to be a challenge for the firefighters to say, okay, yeah. is it, all right, we got a, two gas cars, a diesel, and an electric. Yeah. Bring everything. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, that'll be interesting because then, then Rita will have to dispatch and... And that should be known ahead of time because if you yeah. if there is a different apparatus so so there's a lot that i mean folks just think firefighters show up and put there's a ton of information they're receiving as the calls being dispatched that that they're going to have to know and that's a really it's a really interesting point that i think a lot of folks in the public don't really think about yeah um but 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 it will be have to well, be something to assist i would assume Maybe you can't put it out with water. I don't know, but I don't think so. I wouldn't think that's a good idea. Yeah, um, and then and then again, you mentioned Rita, and that's another important aspect of all this: the training that those dispatchers go through, and and right. the knowledge they have to have to be able to understand what the situation is that the emergency surrounds, so that they can dispatch the proper uh, yeah uh, authorities to to respond to it. Yeah. No, absolutely. It's another one of those county services that people, you know, you <laughs> yeah. don't think about until you don't. You hit that number and dial that 911 and yeah. you you expect right. You yeah, know. you you expect it to be answered. You expect the firefighter or the the police officer or whomever you're waiting for, you expect them to be there and you know, it's all fun and games. We've seen it up north where where some of even elected officials have come out, oh cops are bad cops are bad and then the second they needed them they were on the news and and well they didn't show up in time oh well last week you didn't need them so help me understand i mean yeah folks think oh well, well we can do this and this until it's you and then you want that first person to show up and you want them to be trained and professional and and i think that's what we put out here i'm, I'm proud to say our sheriff's department puts out professional good folks i think the city of artesia puts out professional good folks carlsbad so i, I but it shows the community supports these men and women um they're they're excited to help these men and women so when you have communities like ours the difference is and then you have some other communities that that don't mm -hmm. and, and it's a shame because those are the communities the people across the board are suffering and that's that's not right it's not fair to those folks yeah so it's kind of kind of a uh kind of sad that it gets that way yeah uh so the firefighter equipment uh, uh -huh. taking care of that uh, yeah. is there another area that uh, you guys worked on yesterday or? you know a lot of it was fire's been there a lot we were we were kind of poor jared you know josh left he had to he had to run to a meeting and we made fun of, of uh zuriga he, we said well he left because we asked y'all a question before it even started he got scared so <laughs> so poor jared zuriga had to give the whole presentation nobody did a good job so the other thing that that they did bring up were uh generators so going back to what we were talking about the power grid uh obviously our fire stations need to have backup generators so if, if the grid is ever down that it powers up especially since we're going to have quarters now where where you'll have the, the firefighters in there uh, you want those doors to open. You want those folks to have what they need, the power they need to get the messaging they need. So mm -hmm. we are going to get some generators as well for those. Um, get cool. them hooked up. Uh, I, I think that's that's code. Or not code's the wrong word. That's uh, a state statute almost. I, I don't know what. Um, I can't find words today. But anyways, <laughs> if folks are living it's in, a requirement. in that. It's a, thank you. My goodness. And someone else sent me the other word, unified. That's that's a, that's a good word. So thank you all out there for helping me find words. But uh, 
<laughs> but it is a requirement. So if obviously if folks are are in there, we want them to be able to be powered. And so we're going to have those. So those were a couple generators getting getting those fire stations set up for them. Cool. So yeah. Can we take a quick break? Absolutely. 